over. So this is a great way to start the game for the Lopes. Absolutely, exactly what you want if you're Coach Pearson and, and this GCU one by team. Reed hit and it was foul. And the runner was out on the plate. Take another look at this one. Good contact from Reed. Going right into the middle of that outfield and a really good throw on a one hopper to get a uh, cover Rubio. What's up Wildcat fans? My name is Corey Holmes and I am with Weaver State Athletics. And today I'm here with Lauren Ho, Abby Sager and Casey Whiting. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the epic moments of the 2020 season that you may have missed out on. Um, so Lauren, why don't you set it up for us, kind of tell us the game situation and um, what was happening when this moment happened. Awesome. So the moment we're talking about is when Courtney Pesca, our left fielder, threw out a girl at the plate. Uh, to kind of set it up, this was our first tournament of the season. We were in Grand Canyon or at Grand Canyon. And this was our first time playing Grand Canyon University. We kind of have a, uh, they're kind of our rival. I don't know why, but we always play tough against them. And it was the second inning and Courtney had a fly ball in foul territory. And she caught the ball and threw the girl out, who was tagging up on third. That was the situation, and it was pretty epic. Um, so, honestly, like, any tag out at home is epic and, like, always gets everybody's adrenaline pumping. But, like, Lauren, kind of tell me, like, what it's like being on the receiving end of that. Yeah, it was really exciting because I think, uh, if you know Weber as a team, our outfield is, like, our studs. They're just – like, that's what makes us so good is our outfield. Casey, you have firsthand experience with them every day. But uh, we're just so excited when girls get to run on them. We're like, yay, run on our outfield. Please try it. And so the girl at third decided to try Courtney's arm. And I don't think – I'm not sure if you guys can have the video, but it was – there were, like, five people in foul territory. When it was the coach, the umpire thought he should get in foul territory, Faith, Chloe, and me, and the runner. So when this ball's coming in, I'm like, oh, my gosh, it has to dodge, like, six people. I remember saying, like, everybody get out of my way. Like, I need to see this ball. <laughs> and so I caught it, put the tag on it. It was really awesome. And I'm just happy that Courtney got the opportunity to show off her arm. We got the girl out. It was just a really, really cool situation. Um, Abby, what was it like from your perspective? So from the dugout's perspective, it was completely awesome. It's one of those things where you see her execute that play so many times in practice, um, time and time again. And uh, you see the ball go in the air and you think, okay, well, that's an out. Like, that's totally caught. Like, boom, out for Weber State. Sorry, my dog's in the background. But out for Weber State. And uh, and we, I, you st all of a sudden you see the girl tag up and all the dugout's like, oh, my gosh, is she going to run? she's not dumb enough to run is she not on Courtney Pesca and we were just all so fired up and Lauren made such a great tag it was just a really awesome execution of a play that we do all the time in practice so when those opportunities come for our outfield we get really excited for them like Lauren said because we know what they can do and it's awesome to see them show off what they can do and you can just feel the momentum come out of GCU sales because it was early in the game no outs uh, the runners in scoring position that's a huge time for them to really put a hurt on the opposite team and uh, I think we did a really great job of shutting that down and Courtney, Courtney and Lauren are to thanks for that. Um, Casey what were you thinking during those moments? So just these outfielders okay they're all high level just absolute studs and I cannot tell you how many times in a practice we have to make that same exact throw and it's over and over and over. And it, like, it's kind of like a small range that we have to hit. But we're aiming for like a pinpoint so you don't miss by much. And that she really just straight on bullseye. And Lauren just handled it so perfectly. You, know, you notice how it kind of looked like effortless. It was just amazing on both ends. They kind of just well received at the perfect one hop. It was just so smooth. And that's kind of like the standard we like to hold for the team and they really just set that bar and that was a great way to start our season it was one of our first games 
and it just got us hyped up for the game. And uh, then we went out and had a really great weekend. It's just the little things like that that really make this team have the standard that we have. Um, so like you guys said, this was kind of like the first weekend and you guys came away with a winning record that weekend. So that's a great way to start the season. But kind of talk about overall the like atmosphere of that weekend because it was the opening weekend. Uh, Lauren, kind of touch base on like the excitement you guys were feeling and then how a moment like that happened too, like how it all played into it. Yeah, it was it was crazy because I think we left Utah. It was a huge snowstorm that came in to Utah that weekend when we were leaving. And it was like 85, 90 degrees in Phoenix when we landed. And we were like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. And it was like the hype of opening weekend. Like, I still, like, kind of get nervous thinking about it. But everybody's nervous. Everybody just wants to play well. And last year we came up against Grand Canyon. We had – it was 2-0 two losses. We had the exact same score, 2-0 versus them, and we lost. And so the funny thing was that they – this first get inning, they came out with two runs. And we're like, it's not going to be like last year. Like, we have to put up at least a run or win, you know. And then when Courtney got this ball, I think it – like Abby said, it totally switched the momentum of the game. And we were kind of like, we can do this. Like, we're going we're gonna to do this. And then that was the game that I think Mikel walked off in uh, to give us the win. And that was like a huge, like, big boost for our team that kind of pushed us into having a winning record that weekend too. But the momentum that that play had really, I think, shifted the weekend for us. Um, and especially Courtney, because she has a ton of experience. Like that was her senior year. Uh, and the way that she could help our team shift the momentum and get us back on track was huge. Um, Abby, what – you have to say the same topic. Yeah, so going off of that, so uh, Courtney Pesca is really great, does really well with uh, being cool under pressure um, and executing. We talk about all the time, uh, do what you're good at, and she's good at making that play. You see her get balls in the outfield all the time. So it's just awesome that as a team, it's a reminder that, okay, we're just playing a game. We need to relax. I think a lot of times uh, teams get really amped up and we get excited, but a little bit anxious too about opening weekend because you prepared all year for this season. And okay, here it is. Here's my time to show what I can do. And sometimes people get a little bit collected and just kind of reminded us that we're great and we, we can we can do it. We just need to do what we're good at and do what we know how to do, like we've done a million times in practice. Uh, Casey, yeah, piggybacking off that, like it's the first weekend out. Our team loves to go play in Arizona just because it's warm and Grand Canyon has some amazing facilities and they're very, like, they, they have good hospitality. I don't know how to say it, but it's just a really fun little preseason tournament to go play and we're all excited and it's finally warm. It's been like, we've been walking to class through the snow and then we get to go to the mid 80s. It's so nice. And I remember one thing about that weekend was that they have a turf outfield. So it was like 80 in the air, but out in the outfield on the turf, it's like 100. And it's just so hot that, like, we just love what we do so much that we go out and it's like we do it every day, honestly. It's so fun and made those plays. And it just, like, started the season off on, like, that good, solid note. And I really loved it. Perfect. Okay, well, um, do you guys have anything to say to the fans or anything that you guys like to tell people watching about the season and about what's going on in the world? Do you guys have any comments on that? Well, um, we miss you guys. We miss playing. Uh, we wish we could be back um, supporting you guys and uh, playing in front of you guys, but um, we'll get that soon, and hopefully everybody's, everybody's staying safe, and yeah, that's it. Abby? Yeah, going off that, we miss you. We miss Weber State. I mean, I personally can't wait till I can go back and see everybody and get back together as a team and start working together again. Um, stay safe, have fun, cherish the time that you have. Um, take an opportunity to learn something new, spend time with your family, um, get a little bit of extra exercise that maybe you didn't have time for. Um, back before quarantine started and just stay safe and stay sane. Casey? Yeah. Miss you guys. Miss O-Town. I miss Pickleball. 
but we're all gonna when we come back we'll go full force on all those things and we'll pack the stands and it'll be it'll be great guys so take care of yourselves and go cats perfect well thanks everybody for watching and joining us today um be sure to follow along with wsu softball on social media um we try to post new content regularly. Um, be sure to go check out the other Epic 2020 moments that we've talked about so far. And as Casey said, go cats.